Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about some of the more classy and feminine winter jackets that I have been wearing last year and this year. So if you are new here, hello, my name is Nicole. I typically post videos on this channel about how we can level up our look and our lifestyle in small, minute, detail-oriented ways that will then allow us to get to a point where we can maybe invest in other areas or more high-quality items or seeing a professional for certain things. In this video, I want to show you some of the more budget-friendly, they were extremely budget-friendly options that I picked up this year because the first coat that I'm going to show you, I actually wore this coat for probably four or five years and it was so beautiful, but it was on its last legs last year, so I did get rid of it. This current year, we have still been in the pandemic and so I didn't want to go and invest in something that I might not be able to wear at all this year. And furthermore, due to some life changes and whatnot, I thought it might be best to just hold off on purchasing something that was maybe of a higher quality or higher value at this moment in time. So with all of that rambling, let me show you the first jacket that I want to talk about because I absolutely loved this jacket. I think that there's something about military style jackets that can look very cheap very easily or can look very, very nice. This jacket, I believe it was like $300 dollars from Zara many years ago but it actually had amazing quality to it it actually lasted a really long time and it wasn't too flashy with the embellishments or the military style of the jacket the jacket saw me through and through and I felt like it was a really good option for me to have a piece of outerwear that I could either dress down or I could dress up furthermore I have not found something that is quite like this although Karen Millen did have quite a few options this year in the winter coat selections however a lot of them were sold out so I never I didn't actually end up getting the chance to pick up any of them and again for the reasons I previously mentioned I thought you know what if it is this hard for me to find a jacket that I absolutely love right now why am I spending money on something that I just feel mm, kind of lukewarm about. So the next two jackets are the jackets that I want to show you that I have picked up. You guys, some of you that are watching this that maybe like videos about how to be more elegant are going to absolutely cringe at this. And I totally understand. I totally hear you. However, I do think that we shouldn't just be talking to one type of woman that wants to, you know, be on a journey of being more elegant. We should be talking to all of them. And for all of the reasons I explained, this is why I've went this route. Furthermore, there might be other ladies that this fits their budget. My friends, AliExpress, I've spoken about it before in another video. I love purchasing budget-friendly options because then it allows you to see, I like this style, I don't like this style. Maybe I need to look for something like this, etc. So I'm gonna show you the first jacket. You're probably like, just get on with it, Nicole. So the first jacket that I picked up from AliExpress is just this royal blue cape. It is actually so nice, my friends. I do think that the buttons can look a little bit cheap and they just, don't they're not very secured on there and I mentioned this in another video about how to spot quality items I believe about how you can then if you absolutely love the cut of something and there's nothing wrong with it you could easily switch these buttons out not only would you have something that is more unique and more bespoke but it would be a higher quality this jacket is so nice I will say the arms I do think that they could have used a little bit more fabric here or maybe my arms are just too big because as you will see in the videos that I am over overlaying over my speaking right now, you will see that my arms do just stand out from it a little bit. Now, what I do want to put a disclaimer out there for, I wouldn't be wearing this as my average everyday jacket to go, you know, for a walk in. I would wear this jacket if I was going out and I was wearing a piece of item, a piece of clothing that was a little bit more formal. Furthermore, I would wear this if I was running into a event on an evening or in the evening. <laughs> I'm totally turning British. British people say on the evening when really it's like in the evening. But um, I would wear this, this jacket to an evening event. And if I was just running from the house to the car, from the car 
to the event. I wouldn't wear this for something where I needed proper warmth. But I do think there's a time and a place for everything. I do believe that this was like under 40 pounds and it is showing me what I like about this style and perhaps what I don't like about this style and if I should invest in something that is a little bit higher quality in this style. Now, the last item that I want to show you, so I've shown you the picture of my previous beloved black coat. I've shown you this new kind of cape that I have brought into my wardrobe. And now I wanna show you a puffer jacket. Again, I picked this one up on AliExpress. Now I will say the cut of this one with my body type isn't the most flattering. However, hear me out. I do feel like in this one, I look like Violet from <laughs> Willy Wonka when she's about to go get juiced. <laughs> That's not a compliment. However, I do think if you are going out and you're going to walk the dogs and you want to look leveled up and you want to look as feminine as possible, having a quilted jacket like this that is long, that is of a more unique color than just black is going to make you feel so much nicer. You will die when you hear how cheap this was. I think it was like 19 or 20 pounds. That is all right for me. Um, I like that I get to nod to the quilted trend a little bit in a non-trendy and more classic kind of way. Furthermore, I like that I got to see, you know what, maybe, maybe like investing in this type of style, even if it was something higher end due to my body type, isn't going to be the most flattering thing for me. Uh, I do think that this is going to look more leveled up and more feminine than my Canada Goose jacket that is expensive. Um, before anyone gets in the comments about my Canada Goose jacket, I bought that jacket when I was living in the north of Canada and it was minus 40 degrees outside and that jacket is minus 30 certified so I can appreciate that the jackets and the brand have come on trend but I literally was living somewhere where that type of jacket was required so just a side note but do you know what I mean? Like this is going to look a lot nicer than my Canada Goose jacket. So I think there's a time and a place for everything. And I think that I am happy with my purchases. Anyways, my friends, that is it for this quick video. What or where have you picked up some of your elegant coat options, your winter coat options? I will see if I can find a lot, the last picture that I want to show you. I don't think I will be able to because I don't even remember the brand, but I paid $450 at Aritzia for a cream jacket once. It was a peacoat style and it was terrible to clean and it was the worst like feeling on my skin and I quickly thought like I've spent a lot of money on this and I don't look any more leveled up than you know if I had something cheaper furthermore if I had if I had a trial run of that product or a product of that color or a piece of clothing of that color I would have seen that although I do like the color cream or the tone cream against my skin tone I would have very quickly seen that a peacoat style jacket that has a high collar on someone of my skin tone is not going to look very elegant or very feminine or very hygienic for very long and to be honest with you I shouldn't just say my skin tone because most ladies wear makeup and when you have a jacket that is like a cream color it is very hard to not get makeup on it so I do even though these are very cheap options and I'm not trying to promote fast fashion over investing in quality sometimes I do think for high higher purchase items like that get something a little bit more affordable and see if you like that style see if you like that color see if that color even works within what you have in your closet and your lifestyle because I don't want you to make the mistake like I once did buying a almost $500 jacket by time taxes were put on and it did not fit my lifestyle it did not suit me and it got dirty so fast so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that it was useful for you and I hope it's like maybe still cold where you are it's already starting to warm up here in England and um, I maybe should have filmed this right when I got the jackets back in December. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you consider subscribing to this channel. Feel free to connect with me over on Instagram. All of those details will be listed in the description box for you. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.